everybody, and welcome to Messages from Above with Tony G. I am Tony Green. I am going to be hosting the next 30 minutes here of um, kind of channeling messages, taking calls, answering questions, and just trying to um, give guidance the best that I can. I noticed Genevieve is on. Hey, Genevieve. I always love when I see that you're um, on. So I am uh, doing this show for WSCS, uh, the TV show, uh, Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm doing it um, live stream via YouTube. Yeah, my words are not working this morning. I was up extremely early to do an interview. And as soon as the interview is edited and aired, I will share it with you. It was really fun. I laughed a lot during this interview. Um, it was a great interview. I think you'll enjoy it. I think I reveal things in this interview I've never revealed about myself in the past. Um not sure that's good, but hey, it's out there now, right? Uh, uh, so anyway, anyway, back back to here. So live streaming via YouTube, taking calls, live calls, answering questions, and just getting it done today. I'd like to start with a clearing, and the clearing I'm being most driven for lack of a better term to do is um, self-love. Now, I know I do this a lot. I do self-love a lot. And there's a reason for it. Um, I think we misunderstand what self-love really is. We, I think we misunderstand what love is in general. Um, at our core, we are love. That's it. We're just love. We are beings of love. We come from love. We return to love. And while we're here, we're supposed to stay in that place of being love. And that all starts with self. If And, and, and I want to say this, and it's so important because it kind of hits the nail on the head. My imaginary hammer here hitting the imaginary nail on the head. Um if there are things that you don't like about yourself, like you say, ah, oh, I really don't like my hair. I really don't like my body. I really don't like the way I do this or that. That's a lack of self-love, believe it or not. Because if you don't like yourself, there's a chance you don't love yourself unconditionally. And unconditional love is different than egoic love. Egoic love is a comparison or thinking too much of self uh, in, in that egoic way, where um, self-love, healthy, unconditional self-love is acceptance of self as is, loving self as is, not in comparison to other people, not in comparison to um, other things or uh, I'm at this point, so I'm doing well. I have, I don't know why this, really? I have this many followers on social media, so I like myself. That, that is so random, Spirit. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy random. Um, <laughs> uh, and, or, or, you know, walking into a room and sizing yourself up against everybody. The only person you should want to be better than is the person you were five minutes ago, five days ago, an hour ago. Um, the challenge and, and not in a, I have more money today than yesterday. If you do, yay, keep going. There's nothing wrong with that. But in a way of, I'm a better person today. I'm evolving. My energy is higher because when we're in those higher states of energy, those higher um, places of energy, right? Those higher vibrations or frequency. And I compare it to being really depressed or super ecstatic. We don't stay in those really sad, low places for a very long time. 
and we we don't stay in those ecstatic places for a long time but we might hit them every once so you know if a loved one passes um a couple weeks ago a month ago or so my mom passed and i hit a new low right oh let's not talk about that we don't want to go into that emotional state right now um pull it together girl um and so then, of course, I'm not at my normal frequency. And then, it, it, but, and then it, it, let's say on the day your baby's born or your wedding day, if, if some people like weddings, where they want to get married, that, I don't know, that kind of uh, thing makes you happy. On that day, you might be at your highest high, right? You might be, or when somebody proposes to you, if you want to be proposed to, if that makes you happy, um, <laughs> then, then you might be ecstatic in that moment. But that that ecstasy, that ecstatic moment, is not going to last. That you that momentary euphoria isn't going to last. It's about being in balance most of the time, but working yourself up to this um, higher level or higher frequency with each and every day, right? being in that space where you are better today than you were yesterday, but not in a way where you're looking at yourself as if yesterday you were not good. You're accepting the person you were yesterday and improving upon that today. Okay. So I'm going to do um, the first clearing of self-love and uh, we all have self-love, unconditional self-love, healthy love. And I get a no on that. So we start clearing that. Whew. And it always hits me because no matter, even, even me, there are layers and layers and layers and layers, right? Um, and we just want to work through those layers and we want to clear as much as we can so we can show up as the person we were intended to be here. And who were you intended to be here? Um, that goes to many different things. I mean, there are so many different variables in that statement. The person that you're intended to be here is the person that makes your heart happy. It's the most basic statement I can say for that. It's the person that makes your get go. They're trying to please everybody else. They're trying to be the person that other people want them to be. We turn into little chameleons. And the idea is to come in and to embrace who we are and be who we are, regardless of what anybody else thinks, what anybody else believes our path should be, what anybody else wants from us, right? And it's really important that we stay true to being the person that we're meant to be, being authentic to ourselves first. Because if we're not authentic to ourselves first, we cannot be authentic to anybody else. We can't. It just doesn't happen. We can fake it, but we'll fake it until we break it. So we really have to show up as the person that we're meant to be um, and walk that walk. And that person is not going to look the way maybe your family thinks it should look or your friends think it should look uh, or, uh, you know, your coworkers think it should look. How that person looks should be based on how it feels because what we feel in our heart, what we feel genuinely in our heart that is good and loving is what we are supposed to do, where we are supposed to be, who we are supposed to be, how we are supposed to show up. So... I woke up at 1.30 in the morning this morning, and I'm just going to tell this quick story and then <laughs> be on the way to um, taking callers. And thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful for all of the callers. Um, but yeah, I woke up at 1.30 in the morning, and I was up until 4 in the morning, and all these thoughts were coming through to me. Now, this is known as the divine hour to me. This is when divinity comes in and says, hey, Let's go. Let's get let's get where we need to be with this. Let me show you um, what what I have for you. Right. So at one in the morning, divinity is there and it's saying to me uh, all these 
things, but one of the best things Divinity said this morning is that um, people think we're here playing out karmic patterns, got karmic, uh, paying off karmic debts. Maybe we are. Maybe it's from past lives. Maybe it's from current lives. Maybe it's from future lives. Who knows? Okay, maybe maybe if that's if that's the way you want to look at it, maybe we are paying off karmic debt. But something Divinity said to me this morning while I was trying to fall back asleep because I knew I had to be up early to give this interview <laughs> was that um, what if it's just an unhealthy unresolved program or pattern that you're running from your childhood. So for example, some people will say, I always get used in a relationship or people are always using me. Okay. Is that a karmic pattern or a karmic paying off karmic debt? Or is that an unhealthy program from childhood or that, and, and the program could not be get used. The program could be, I'm not worthy. So I feel like I have to give and give and give and give and give, whether it be money, love, wonka wonka, what, whatever. <laughs> Seriously, wonka wonka. <laughs> oh my gosh. What, what, whatever it is that you're giving, that you're feeling used, even wonka wonka. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope y'all are laughing at this because I have tears coming out of my eyes right now on this one. Um, is really the pattern or the program of I don't feel loved or I don't feel like uh, I'm enough. So I'm going to give until they love me or I've, I've, uh, uh, I'm going to give until the point where they are now giving me what I'm lacking, whatever that scenario is for you or for, for the person with that program. So we think in relationships, and this is really huge. Um, people put titles like soulmate, soul partner, twin flame, karmic partner on relationships. You know what? It's just another freaking person that has gone through stuff that you ended up with. Could you have known this person in a past life? Sure. Could it be a soulmate? Every single person you meet in some way is a soulmate. We all go back to the same collective and become one. So we're all soulmates. People at work that teach you what you like and what you don't like, they're soulmates. People in your family that teach you what you like and what you don't like, they're soulmates. Partners that come in and out of your life or partners that you have, friends and relationship, wonka wonka partners, <laughs> I don't know. Um, they are soulmates and they're teaching us something. So anytime somebody has taught you something that you like or you don't like it's a it's a soul partner don't use titles on a partner because it gives it so much importance and makes it so much uh I don't want to use the word devastating but it, it makes it so much more difficult like if you d if it's not healthy and it's not working out and you're like I have to jump ship here oh but this is my soulmate but what if it's not what if it's just another person that has, you know, come here to be with you, right? What if that's just the case? So don't give people more responsibility in your life than uh, is A, fair to them, and B, is uh, appropriate. Don't put big titles on things and don't have expectations of people that those three things right there will save you so much, so, so much, so much. Now, I know a lot of people love the term soulmate, twin flame, karmic partner. It explains a lot for them in their life. But again, if you're going to use those terms, please use them with. Uh, 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 a realistic view of all possible outcomes. Okay, 
Having said all of that, I'm going to go to the first caller. And the first caller is 415. Hi. Hey, 415, how are you today? Hi, great. Excellent. How can I, I help you? Um, yeah. Yeah. I was just, it's a pretty simple question. This um, weekend, I, mean, I know it was the new moon, and I don't know if you were feeling it, but I was just kind of sad all weekend. Yeah. And I don't know if that. Everyone's going through. Okay. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to tell you this whole month since the full moon to this new moon, which is approximately I think two weeks. It has been, um, yeah, it has been quite a ride. Now I will tell you if you didn't catch the the new moon right away, there's still time. This is a great time to put intentions out of what you want, like to really put some manifestation yeah. prayers out there during this new moon. And really wor work with it. This is some heavy, heavy energy we're dealing with. And there's, um, mm. and, and you know what? The other thing that a lot of people aren't uh, thinking about is we're at the one year anniversary of being in yeah, lockdown. anniversary. Right? So we never expected yeah. this. We didn't really prepare for it. So I think that's kind of getting to people also. We just, for those of us in states that have winter, um, we're just coming out of winter and have been in, in lockdown and kind of in the house and s s we're just stuck and we're sick of it. We're done with it. We like want to be free again. We want to be like the kids that are about to go out for recess and run and play. Right. Um, we yeah. really do. We want our, we want our lives back. Um, so I think a lot of what's going on right now is it is pretty heavy energy right now, but also um, we're just restless. We're, we are restless and we want to, we want to play again. We want to be free again. I think, honestly, if I were to ask people, they would say that like, yeah, I just want to be free again. I want to be able to go to a concert. I want to be able to, you know, get on a plane and travel. I want to be able to go see a show. Um, and for a lot of us, that's just really not a possibility right now. So what, what I'm going to say is please take advantage of the new moon write some manifestations out, some prayers that you would like answered and use it to the best of your ability and, and go from there. And by the way, sweetie, um, I do want to say you have a, a loved one on the other side that's coming in and saying hi, somebody who is oh. a little bit older and a little bit fuller. I feel like this was a grandmother or an aunt, somebody who who could have been a grandmother age. And she is, um, it, I don't think it's a mom. I think it's a grandmom. And she's coming in. And I, I want to say, I hear grandmom, mom. So I think uh, gr uh, gr your mom's mom or something like that. But I sometimes I don't get hit it exact so I leave it open a little bit but she just wants to say um you're about to fly you're about to uh oh. c come out of your cocoon and just fly you're gonna soar and so when this opportunity comes don't um don't settle back and look at it look look at like the opportunity so to say um I don't like always saying this, but she's saying kind of act without thinking. Don't don't sit back and ponder right. the possibility of it. Take Just ju jump on the opportunity when it arises. You can always change yeah. your mind later. Right. So something's coming in for you right. that's really going to give you that beautiful uh, jump off, if you will. And she's saying, right. go for it. Don't hesitate. Go for it. And oftentimes when we go through like a, a, a slumpish period, it's because we're getting uh, ready for that big, uh, they're, they're calling it the big reveal for whatever that's worth. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Great. Excellent. I, I thank yeah, you for calling okay. in. I'm I'm really happy to hear from you, and I hope uh, you call back again. Thank you. 
Yeah. Always. I always listen every week. Excellent. Thank you. So I'm going to go straight to the next caller who is, um, I want to say the number is 9495. Yep, 951. Hi, how are you? Hey, it's Nathaniel. How are you doing, Tony? Good, Nathaniel. How are you today? Pretty good. I woke up at one thirty-two last night. Oh, I is wasn't it... able to get back to sleep, but... Yeah, what's going on out there, right? Who's trying to talk to us? Yeah. <laughs> That's all yeah, I, I can really say. Back to sleep. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I fortunately at like it the last time I looked at the clock it was four. So I did fall back asleep, but yeah, it is kind of um it is kind of difficult. So Nathaniel, have you started your book yet? You know, I, I really haven't. No, I, I'm just, uh, you know, I, I'm so uh, discouraged kind of in life. I got everything out of my brother's house yesterday. I've been working a lot. And, uh, I have stuff in storage. I have to get rid of a lot of stuff. And, you know, I, I've actually tried to sell a lot of books. I don't have any place to keep them. Well, and, uh, you know. Nathaniel, the main you know, thing? I, I, I don't know. I want to tell you the main yeah. thing that I'm getting for you is um, that the way they're saying it is set up shop and get on it. Don't procrastinate. Um, make you a priority. I don't know. I'm, I'm just good. You know, I, I don't know what to, I really don't know what to do. You know, I've been thinking about this for a long time. And, uh, I have no idea, you know, write down, you know, I mean, I did some of that stuff, but, you know, you know I, I don't, you know. Here's what we're going to do. I think you're really yeah. stuck. I think you're just stuck and you've had some very, very difficult setbacks. And a lot of people have. I mean, this has been a very difficult year for a lot of people. So the first thing I'm going to do is a clearing on being stuck because it's not good to be stuck because we just, when we're stuck, we just don't even know. We can't see the next move, even if it's in front of us, we can't see it. And then when we're stuck, we tend to repeat patterns. We tend to take the same circle or the same loop. And so that's the next clearing I'm going to do is that uh, we are repeating unhealthy patterns and I get a yes on that. So we're going to clear that too. And I feel that come all the way up from the, like my feet all the way up. Um, and I'm going to tell you, Nathaniel, it's really time. And I know it's difficult to um, sometimes uh, see it the way it is uh, being explained to you, but it is really, really time to embrace taking a new path or a new pattern. Um, right now, I, I understand you're in a place where you're not really uh, seeing those possibilities. They will present yourself. And when you get woken up at 1.30 in the morning, whatever or two in the morning or three in the morning, whatever time in the middle of the night, that's when spirit can speak to you. That's when divinity can come in and really talk to you and really give you those messages or those little statements, um, those little knowings or epiphanies and write them down because you, no matter how much you think you're going to remember them in the morning or the next day, you will not, you will not remember them the next day, the next morning, um, none of it. So what I want to say is really take the time to write it down. And if they have you awake and not let you fall back to sleep, then you need to really take note of what they're trying to say to you. Really listen. Um, and whatever pops in, whatever thought pops in as you're trying to fall back asleep, that's the thought that's the most important thought for, for you. Okay. Um, thank you, Nathaniel, for calling. And I'm so grateful that you, you are 
listen to all of my shows and I get to connect with you. I'm going to go straight away to 203. Hello, 203. How are you? Hello. Well, I think 203 is maybe there's a whatever connection there. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to pop back over to this screen for a moment because Nathaniel, you really inspired me to really, um, to say, you know, we all connect with spirit. We all hear spirit. We all can talk with spirit and get those intuitive hits from spirit. So it's really important when those thoughts pop in our head, write them down and ask for more. Say, what else? What else? Thank you. What else? Thank you. What's next? Listen to that because that is guidance from heaven. And so if you get woken up, and I know it's tough when you have to be up the next morning or the next day, but if you do get woken up at whatever time, use that as the opportunity to connect with a loved one on the other side, with a um, with your angels, with what I call divinity. They're all there and they're all wanting to connect and to talk to you and to have that uh, be able to give you those messages that they wouldn't be able to give you during your busy day. Um, so please embrace that. I'm going to do one more clearing for everybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching. And this clearing is going to be on abundance, but in a different way. Now, I do a lot of clearings on abundance. So if you go back and you listen to my other shows, there's a lot of clearings on wealth, like bringing wealth in. But here's something I realized. We're not all ready to receive. We're not all receiving, right? So it could be on its way to us, but stopped right here because if, if we got it, we would give it away, we would waste it, or we, we, we might take it, but we wouldn't keep it, right? And for some of us, we just don't receive. Like if somebody tries to give us something, even a compliment, we're like, oh, oh, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, that's so kind of you. But no, like we don't, we don't receive. We just don't take. And this is a a universe of equal give and take. What you give out, you have to take, you have to allow to come back to you. Think of the infinity sim symbol where it is um, always going, never ending, giving and taking. So I'm going to just do the we receive and I get a no. Oh, and that one, that one out of all the clearings today, that one hit me the hardest. Oh, um, if you do feel the clearings, please make a note, uh, jot it down, send me a thing saying, yeah, I felt that. No, I didn't. Um, and I want you to know that if you re-listen to these, it will keep clearing things until they're completely cleared. I'm here every Monday at noon for 30 minutes to take your calls, answer your questions, do clearings, and to help you connect with loved ones on the other side if you do so choose to. I want to thank you for joining me here today. Remember, your job here is to create miracles. So go be a creator.